Hello everyone and welcome back to Curaçao. We have arrived here about four days ago. We are still in the marina to get all, you know, the bureaucracy and paper stuff done. But today we rented a car and we are on our mission to find the best freediving spot here in Curaçao. our first destination here in Playa Calqui and it's just beautiful the water is amazing and the coral reef out there is actually called Alice in Wonderland so that is quite some statement to make so we're really curious to go out and dive in it Michael is already in the water doing a little bit of scouting but soon we are going in with the long fins and we probably need to swim out onto the more darker spots but it seems not so far, so it should be fine, especially with our freediving fins. Really nice. There's a lot of fish. Yes? Yes. Corals, a few broken ones, but a lot of fish. Oh. <laughs> Chicken bread. diving we deserve now something delicious to eat and we found this cute restaurant where they don't have a menu they only have a walking menu and birds <laughs> and a lot of birds shrimps you can do little combo fish and shrimps 
Okay. We have the goat stew, beef stew. Goat stew and beef stew. Oh, that okay. looks iguana like for me. This is the fish and shrimp. Perfect. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need to get 20 tokens. And how does it taste, Iguana? Interesting. <laughs> no, really good. Really soft. We just came back from our second dive here in Curacao and it was just wonderful. We are currently at San Comatas Bay, which is not far away from where we had our first dive, but it was just incredible. Max is just getting in my. <laughs> Freshly naked from the shower. <laughs> but as I said, we are here at we are here in Zanks Midas Bay and are taking now to see you the amazing dive we just had. <laughs> After St. Martha's Bay, we moved on to Playa Santa Cruz and we totally fell in love with it. Playa Santa Cruz might be less interesting from a marine life perspective, but the place is so incredibly beautiful and there is a lot to explore. We have an old shipwreck, which is only at 3 meters, so it is accessible to most swimmers also without any kind of freediving experience. We love to stop here with friends who had no freedom experience, so we could enjoy some amazing snorkeling together. There is also a reef close by, but it is rather deep, starting at around 12 meters, so we did not enjoy it too much, but it might be amazing for more experienced freedivers or scuba divers. However, we enjoyed the reef from a more far perspective, as it did attract huge swarms of fish, which on their side attracted tuna and for the first time we saw tuna jump out of the water and hunt in the waters. Playa Santa Cruz also hosts a blue cave, which is accessible by dinghy or also via land. We are not totally blown away by it, but it definitely deserves a look if you are close by. We spent over a week in Santa Cruz and really loved it, but nothing could compare with our favorite spot on the island, Sankt Michael's Bay.
<laughs> what should we say? We just loved it here. Not only is the water crystal clear and you can spot flamingos in the salty lakes behind, you also have an amazing local diving community here, where we actually finally made our scuba license. So if you're interested to see how free divers become part-time scuba divers, hit that subscribe button to not miss out on it. The only spot of Curaçao which probably has more beautiful water and beaches is Clan Curaçao. But it is mostly overrun with tourists and 99% of the time it is very, very rolly here. So we kind of enjoyed it, but also not. The last spot we would like to show you, because otherwise it would not be a full guide of free diving spots on Curaçao, is Duck Boat Beach. And we have to admit that even if it is very shallow, around 3 to 4 meters, and very much overrun by tourists, it is an amazing free diving spot. The amount of marine life we have experienced in one single dive here in Tugboat Beach is probably the highest we've ever experienced in all our dives. So if you ever are in Curaçao, definitely don't miss out on Tugboat Beach, even if it feels a little bit touristy.